and welcome and welcome back to my channel so guys as you already see in the title we are gonna be doing a get ready with me for this holiday party that i'm going to it's friday and the party i think it starts at it says nine i finish is at two but we already know i say majority of the time people actually work with time so right now it's eight o'clock for me yeah it's eight o'clock as i just left work like an hour and a half ago so i took a shower um pull up my ear because it was in a half of a stone and then right now i'm gonna go do two ponytails yeah i'm gonna do two ponytails so before we get into this video we're gonna do a short commercial break so this commercial is brought to you by just for kira this is a paid partnership guys so we're about to open this box that i received from them it contains as you can see a pamphlet right here thanking me for my order my code to get at least 20 percent off will be right on screen it is angel isia my name and it gives you the instructions of how you can tag them whenever you take a picture over their socials and it gives you their website on that pamphlet in this box as you can see we have eight boxes in all eight boxes it contains a contact lens this right here that i have in my hand is the dispenser so guys this is where you would keep the lens solution with the contact lenses before putting it in your eyes i'm going to show you guys one of the lenses that i got by opening this cute box from just for kira guys i'm not selling the light just like here i'm not selling the light guys that is one of the contact lenses that is gem brown i have at least four different colors in this box that i got from just Kira. um as i said each lens is in its own box with its own liquid solution yes guys the packaging is everything it's neatly packed and the boxes are so cute this is what one of the other boxes look like yes it contains as i said at least one of the lenses so guys please head over to just for kira's website the link will be in my description guys they have the best contact lenses and let me tell you say best contact lens we mean the best contact lens and they are so affordable and they are having a sale right now so run over to the site and check them out and you can't lose if you use my code to get 20 percent off okay guys so the costume I had originally planned to wear, like most of the items for the costume is still not here yet because the at first thing to wear is like the set that I was supposed to get for the character that I wanted to be. Um, it's coming from Shape Me and I got the top. I got a bottom but it was too small so I had to send that back and they're sending me a different sizing in the bottom. They sent a... Uh, this isn't a small and it was really small because they said it was really stretchy so i thought you know it would be like fine but it was too tight and it ripped out so i told them that i need a medium so they're sending me a medium in the bottom as for like the accessories and stuff like the mask is not going to be here until november 2nd and halloween is literally on monday so like yeah I'm not gonna have the full costume for where I'm going tonight. So I had two backup outfits. One, I'm probably gonna take pictures in it on Monday. And um, the second one, I had to make some changes to it because it was giving slutty. Even though Halloween season is the one time for girls to like be sexy and cute without having to be apologetic about it. So um, I made some adjustments. Instead of me wearing a lingerie top, I'm going to do this long sleeve. And because I'm going to wear black boots instead of the tall white socks, which I think everybody wears tall white socks and the, the boots, heels. I want to do something different. So I'm wearing my, wearing my side high black boots. So I decided to wear a black long sleeve button up shirt because the short sleeves, when I tried it on, like it was like too tight. I couldn't get it buttoned all the way. So I was like, you know what, let me just wear a long sleeve instead. So I'm going to be wearing this. And as you guys already see in my little commercial break, the original outfit I was supposed to wear, um, just like here, I sent me like eight 
contact lenses to try so one was supposed to actually wear with that outfit the one that i'm be wearing on monday as well one of those contact lenses is gonna go with it as well and i plan on pairing it with these glasses right here because i don't know say i'm a glasses girl i have to wear like a sunglass or a glass with every outfit i have it's just for my eyes actually like i feel a lot more comfortable when i wear when i'm wearing glasses um but for right now i need to fix my hair because as i said i wanted to do two ponytails um i wanted to do two braids in the front at first but then because of my nails i they're probably not gonna be as neat and i don't want to play a play ugly looking something on my head right now so i'm gonna make it stay always stay right now but guys if you want to see how this video turns out just keep watching please remember to like comment and share if you're new guys please hit that subscribe button guys we're on our way to 1k i don't know so i'm gonna get a giveaway like a big big giveaway because i've been waiting on this for so long so i'm like super excited seeing that i am so close yes so just run up the channel like share share it up make everybody know what's said and for come about angel's channel and uh, subscribe isn't me and if you're a returning subscriber you don't know big up yourself every time all right guys so i'm gonna start doing my hair yeah well start fixing my hair a little bit at least okay okay guys so my eyes start to look a little bit for my ear i'm gonna fix my hair right now like i'm doing two ponies but i do have some q a questions that i asked you guys for a while back which i think i can answer right now yeah so i'm gonna do those while i get ready guys we can't believe say the whole time i did so still gonna talk the camera need to go it wasn't recording so yeah me i forgot to back over the question then we just answer so um the first question is, um, why do you still live with your mother? I don't know. I don't know the same way. Um, technically, right now, I wouldn't say I live with my mother. I would say my mother lives with me. Yeah, I would say my mother lives with me at this point. But um, um, I'm going to run my explanation right now. Um, so guys. Um, my mother left Jamaica when I was nine. I started living with her again in 2017. That's when I moved to the States. Um, of course, mom visit back home, like, whenever she could or whenever. And she was in our lives and she spent time with us and she always make sure we're good on it. Something did. My mother has been trusting me straight regardless. But, um, I haven't lived with my mom in over... A couple of years I moved here when I was 17 so um woman miss old living with me and like growing me in her image over the couple of years well so right now I just our time to make up for last times I guess but I don't really view it as that if you look at it every Jamaican family are most people from the Caribbean even Hispanic families like all the family members are under one roof your grandmother your great grandmother your uncle your auntie then pity them everybody live under the same roof right as a family like everybody live under the same roof it's different sometimes like if you get married and you branch off elsewhere like if you're not in a serious committed or serious committed relationship or if you're not married everybody will be living under the same roof and no picking not gonna lift their family house until like they're married and they want to start their own family so every family so normally in most of these cultures are just in general everybody tries to stay together at all times because it's better for everybody so that's the case with us as well we're no longer in a family home though but my mom, has, my mom and I are still together. Like, if I had my own family now and my mom was starting her own family, probably then we'll get our own places. But until then, we'll be living together. 
and as i was saying before like it's to make up for last times it's not really to make up for last time guys i still really answer the question like my mom and i um we'll just live together until it's time for until it's no longer okay for us to be living under the same roof which i'm gonna take that guy bottom um but guys i wanted to move out of the family house when i was 19 and my mom was not okay with that she wanted me to live with her in her new place regardless um and i was supposed to go to when i was supposed to start college what was it 2019 or 2018 2019 i was supposed to start college i was supposed to move out of town like it's like four four and a half hours away or five hours away near miami we are right i was supposed to go to college on that side um my mom was not okay with that she never okay with that like must must start everything if it's time to miss them just need to pay my tuition and everything we register everything i just you know if it starts if you pay my tuition i have to get my start dates or whatever she never all right with that so many have to transfer from that school they don't there so the next campus it is which is like down the street from me yeah that maybe have to end up though i should want my got school all the way down there yeah and then last year around this time when i was telling her that i need my own place like she cried I said, oh my boss, she, boss. she was shocked to the court too. She was like crying. She's like, why you wanna move out? Why you wanna place the things you have to no? And whatever, whatever. Like, bro, I was just not okay with our living arrangements and I needed my own space. Cause I like being in my own little bubble at times. And we just need we just didn't even own our space. And she cried. She cried when I told her I was leaving her. I get my own space she cried so i just end up started looking for a place and got her and involved her in it and we moved to a place that we left from here and then we moved here so um yeah my mother just anytime i utter the words like leaving her she cries i think that's entrapment don't think that entrapment i think that entrapment Nobody's that entrapment, right? Nobody's that entrapment. She cries whenever I tell her I want to branch off and leave her. So, I mean, not even, that's not even in my thoughts no more. Well, it's still in my thoughts. But I would love to be by myself sometime. But she's my mom. I'm not going to leave her. I'm not going to leave her. Like, I'm not going to leave her. At the end of the day, my brother is not here anymore. He's all over the place, like, on military stuff. So... I'm the only other child she has, and I need to be here for her at all times, be in her corner, make sure she's good. And we just, I'm not gonna let that responsibility until Mrs. Somebody capable enough to take care of my mother properly, or she needs, or she deserves to be taken care of. Yeah. So until then, she's gonna be beside me at all times. She'll forever be my child, period. So next, do you plan on having children? Um, sure. I mean, I don't know. No, not a pity. My obvious say this, and people always say that too. But when it at me, it just happen. But honestly, I don't want any children. But if it at me, it happen. Me can't stop it from happen. Um, yeah, me can't stop it from me. If it at me, it just happen. But for right now, where I am in life, I'm not ready for a child or children. Yeah, I'm not ready for none of that. I'm a child myself at heart. I already have a child in the next room that I'm taking care of. That's my mother. Dita is like a five years old. Dita five. I already have a pitney, so I'm gonna need an next pitney. I'm sorry. She's already two hands full and my foot full. I'm gonna need a pitney. She's enough. She's enough. When my brother is around, that is the next pitney me have. I'm already a pitney. I already have two. I already have two. I don't know why I'm in Eva Banfuska, my brother. He's a child at heart as well. A pitney, that's enough. A pitney. You know my mother? Pitney, 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 dong. Then pitney, dong. Pitney, them day. I do pitney. Me, little girl, me. Like, I don't want to talk anything, anything into the atmosphere or whatever. But it's like, I'm not ready for a child. I still have goals I need to accomplish, things I need to get done. So until then, that's not even in my thoughts. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not calling up on myself, but that's not in my thought right now. That's not something I want to accomplish. That's not a goal for me. So 
Yeah, I'm mean, not thinking about that right now, so don't don't ask for that. I don't pick me. Maybe I have one. But if you don't want me to be like if you don't have any children, I may be the godparent. I'm down for that. I will be a great godmother or god whatever. Yeah. But until now, no penny talk around me. Thank you. Alright, guys. So the next question is um Brother, why don't keep on asking me the same question name? And if my follow Uno, if my follow Uno, I'm gonna go to work tonight. So you know what? I'm putting a question up on a wall because all these questions are the same ones that I answered in like my last QA, which I think was last year on this time or uh, whatever. Like, no, no change, but no question them. I same question them except for the entry there, right there. Oh my god, answer this one though. When do you plan on starting your own business? When I open up in the atmosphere, when I don't got them to me, but I plan on starting my own business very soon very very soon very very soon just stay tuned for that no more in a, in a, no more in that right now yeah do you plan on do you plan on getting married you know say a ring will look nice on my finger not tell no lie about that a ring would look really nice on my finger but um i don't think i'm ready for like a Marriage, marriage. I don't know. I mean, I say if you propose, I'm not accept your proposal, but I would take the wedding and the ring and the dress and everything with actually signed the papers to my married. Me leave that. Me just want the wedding. Me want the wedding, the dress and everything. Then after that, we can separate. <laughs> me just um. Everything nice, but especially the special day, yeah, more all of that, and then we can go our separate ways after just to get married. I don't know how I feel about it because when we get married, it's a one time thing. Me now get married again, that's how I feel. If me I get married, me no one will do it ever again in our life, unless it's a situation where we just help out somebody or something. But, um, me I get married, it's a one time thing. And you never know still. Um, someone did pop the question and ask me to marry them, but um you know, you never know still. As I said, I will take the wedding, I will take the dress, I will take the gifts, I'll take all of that. If I actually sign the paper up and that line, I'm just not sure about that yet. I don't I don't know how I feel about committing my life to somebody like for a long ass time like all of your debt on my debt like that's what i'm talking about guys me don't mean like oh me don't want to marry you i'm gonna want to commit to you it's not about commitment it's just being attached to that person in every way possible your debt is my debt your responsibilities are my responsibilities which not sound true but either way but me don't want to take on your financial burden financial aspect I'm mean, not looking like the love, the commitment, and all that. I'm mean, looking the financial aspect and all that like, affect me. Affect me. Yeah, all that seriously like, affect me. Let me have fun. Yeah, guys, I'm um, going to come off camera and finish fix up my, uh, finish, fix up my ear and do a little soft beat to my, to my face. A little soft beat to my face, and I'll be right back, okay? So, guys, my nose, I'm look like a real mascot right now. But can you believe the girl just called me out and asked me, like, if I'm ready? Guys, can you believe it's 9.30? It's 9.30! Dog, this is serious. At 9.30 now, at 9.30, I'm mean already yet. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna drop in a clip with a better look of the full fit. Yeah, came together all right. This nasty button. Mm, yeah, and of course I'm gonna be putting the links in the description for the place where I got the glasses. The set, the shirt, and the boots. Yeah, you guys can't see the boots, but as I said, I'm gonna be putting a full video of the entire fit right in here. Don't mind me and my prop. <laughs> this is the prop. Yeah, so 
thank you guys so much for watching i'm finna head out um please remember to like comment and share and most of all guys please to hit that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber you don't know big up yourself every time all right guys i will see you in another video bye